Lancelot, is it true what they say? Are you really going to leave France and go to England? Of course. You were the only challenger left here. And now I beat you too, so... <laughs> Onward to England. <laughs> Good luck to you, Lancelot. Once upon a time, there was a place called Camelot. It was in England, and it was looked after by a good king named Arthur. I was Arthur's advisor, you know. Raised him from a pup, so I know the whole story. I know all about Arthur's beautiful queen, Guinevere. Hmm? The evil witch, Morgan. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes, right, Solomon. I am getting ahead of myself, aren't I? How I love our town of Camelot. That's good to hear, seeing that you're its king. <laughs> oh, Merlin, Arthur is going to make the rest of England just as wonderful, aren't you, Arthur? No, yeah, I hope so. If we can get all of the different rulers in England at this meeting we're going to, to stop fighting one another every time they disagree. And instead, sit down together and talk their problems out, like uh, grown-ups are supposed to? Huh? I don't think so, Arthur. It's very noble of you, but not very realistic. People fight. It's human nature. Mordred! Merlin here is being a pessimist again about the meeting we're going to. What do you think? Well, Father, I think someone's got to be the leader. And I just hope it's you, because I want to see you shine in front of all the other kings. But I don't want to shine. <laughs> I want to have equality, everyone working together. Guinevere! What's wrong? Why did you ride off like that? I don't see why he has to come with us. Guinevere, please, what can I do? He's my son. But he isn't really. You said yourself he's only your son because of a magic spell put on you. I still won't disown him. I want him to learn to be a valiant knight, and I am glad he's coming with us. The journey from Camelot to Cornwall, where the meeting would be held, was quite a long one. And as planned, Arthur and Guinevere decided to rest the night in one of their castles along the way. Creatures can sense danger in a second, but alas, not King Arthur. He was so good, he never suspected that his own son could be so evil. Well, I suppose that's because Mordred's mother is a witch. 
Yes, the witch, Morgan Le Fay, a very vile witch. And I'm afraid a former pupil of mine. And she put a magic spell on Arthur, tricking him into giving her a son. But uh, I digress. Repeat the plans back to me. I want to make sure you got it all into your thick head. Tomorrow morning, the king and queen will leave the castle by sunup. And we'll be passing under the high rocks around ten. And that is where we must do it. And remember, this isn't a highway robbery. I want the king and queen dead. Dead? Is that a problem? Oh, uh, uh, no, no, no. Why did I take this job? Why, oh, why, oh, why? Beautiful day. Oh, yes. Now, as Arthur and Guinevere headed south, the young Frenchman Lancelot had arrived in England and he had heard about Camelot. <sighs> Come on, Concord. Both. Camelot will live on forever. Arthur, run! Guinevere! to live. <clears throat> Not one penny. That is no way to treat a lady. <laughs> Take my horse. I will hold them off. Not 
it a little more to the left next time. And... Twa! No! No! <sighs> Are you all right? Oh, never better. I love a good fight. Please, wait. Who are you? Lancelot du Lac. At your service. I am King Arthur of Camelot. At yours. Oh, King Arthur. You are the very king I wish to serve. You saved our lives. Let me give you something to repay your kindness and extraordinary bravery. Have you got any carrots? <laughs> <laughs> carrots? No, but I can offer you a place in my Lady Guinevere's guard. It would be an honor. <clears throat> For both of us. Good. I hope Mordred wasn't injured. Don't worry. We'll hear soon enough if anything happened to him. Should we continue on or turn back? Hmm. For all we know, someone might be planning to attack Camelot while we're gone. Let's turn back before anything else can go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Mordred, please, my deepest apologies. Uh, uh, I, uh... I paid you to provide 20 of the nastiest, most odious scoundrels in the land. We do smell pretty bad. And you let yourselves be undone by one beardless Frenchman? My most serene sire, let me make it up to you. You paid us for a king and a queen, right? How about we try again? This time, guaranteed, I'll throw in, say, two extra highway robberies. How about I take back what I paid you and let you keep your head attached to your shoulders? <gasps> Most generous, sire. Overcharged anyway. This is the witch Morgan Le Fay, Mordred's mother. I shut her up in that cave permanently, and she can only see the world through her magic sword.
once they were back home, Arthur decided he needed to fortify Camelot in case someone attacked them. And while he worked on this, Guinevere worked on making a garden for the child she hoped to have someday soon. Oh, pardon me, Your Majesty. No, no, pardon me. Would you like some help? He's coming! The king! Oh, my lady, don't let him find me here. I'm supposed to be up there in the lookout tower, but I'm afraid of heights. Oh, dear! Get down! Here! <laughs> Guinevere? Arthur! Tough day? Hmm. Sometimes I think I'm the only one who's paying attention around here. How awful for you. Good news. Mordred wasn't hurt in the attack. He'll be back with us soon. You know, Arthur, I have been thinking that we should have a son of our own. That way Mordred won't be your only heir. Hmm. Our own son. <sighs> I'd like that. Let's talk about it some more. Promise? Guinevere. I want to recruit more knights. But you don't have enough men from the nobility to make more knights. I know. We have so many workers, but so few men at arms. Well, perhaps you could... Make the Mason's Knights, of course. All the men in town who prove themselves worthy could become knights. Wonderful. But what if they feel strange with the nobles? Hmm. Well, if the nobles object... You need something to make everybody feel at home. A council with no one at the head. You know, Arthur, we do have that wedding present, the big round table. A round table. Hmm. Well, it might work. <laughs> you need to relax. Yes, a round table. Hmm. And what a wonderful idea, Gwyn. A son of our own. That would be perfect. <laughs> Another son? I'm not going to let that happen, Dad. No chance. And as for that Lancelot, he's French fries. to my nightclub. <laughs> Night. No more damsel talk, hear me? No more damsel talk! Put the damsels down! Say so? Says a parfait gentil knight who'll dice your pantaloons if you don't. <laughs> How this? Ready? You can still avoid this embarrassment if you like. You? Eh? Embarrass me? Ah, big bad brutes. Ouch! <laughs> 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 Forgiveness, eh? And pledge her your eternal protection. Oh? That's the best part. Have I ever steered you wrong? Sorry, Lizzie. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Apologize, my lady Elizabeth. Debase yourself. It always works. 
Please, I'm a rotten lout. I did it because you were so pretty. And I like you. Huh? Did I tell you? Best part. <laughs> a knight never gives offense, never takes but what is granted. If a fight can be avoided, he will yield. Oh, but if ever force is needed, a true knight does not waver. When he strikes, he makes it count. No matter who you are, no matter what this world has dealt you, follow these few rules and you might. Become a parfait gentil knight. And rescue mates. Go on quests. Brave great dangers. Do your best. Find true love. Inspire trust. There's nothing knightly about lust. Use a love. Swish your sword. Virtue has its own reward. Help your friends find their course. Always be kind to your rich boy who spend all our days being nice. Stay on guard, bend your knee, free the kittens from the trees, teach the pagans how to pray, ride all night and fight all day, battle ogres, break troll spells, save small children from deep wells, slay the dragons, scaring Hamlet's baffle, con men pulling scamlet. We are brave, we are good, we do just what we should, we've got armor and white horses, we save damsels of horses, heal the sick, feed the thin, forget the Trouble at your end when you fell a monster at a stroke. Make a joke. Your honor should be clean. Your armor shining bright. There's nothing better than a perfect gentleman. Quite a spectacle. I beg your pardon, Your Majesty. No pardon necessary. It's just the sort of thing we need. We've got to recruit new knights from among your admirers. On guard! <gasps> oh, well. <laughs> I am yours to command. Then I command you to fight. Bruce, you see, you must practice your lunge, your cut, your stab, jab. Harry, counter, repulse. Of course, Bruce. No, just anyone can learn to fence. No, you must be brave and good. Uh, and rich. No, not rich. I had a dream today where my knights and I sat together at a round table. No one at the head and no one at the foot. We all shared as brothers, equal under the law. Next Monday, I shall make anyone whom Lancelot deems worthy a knight. We will unite England together. No king has ever been so generous. No knight has ever been so welcome. For now he is, Arthur. For now he is. Sword off. Cut that out! Sword on! I want to watch Arthur some more! Phew! That perfume stinks, Mother. And so do your plans. Oh, I'm never going to get the crown. Oh, yes you will. But you must do it my way. What's wrong with the sword? I don't know. The more perfect Camelot gets the... Harder it is to see inside the city walls. <laughs> they are pretty pathetic, aren't they? A bunch of saps. I can't believe they haven't a clue about you. <laughs> and that is why you must go back to Camelot and pretend to be on their side. 
They are good. They are cute. They taste just like I of Newt. Though they hate us and they scorn us, we, we still, still like our, our ill repute. repute. Even though we're reviling, let our fantasies run wild. With giant's hair, rooster's blood, a pinch of Transylvanian mud, squeezing eyeballs from their sockets. Taxing peasants, picking pockets. We, we are bad. bad. Yes, it's true. And they, they don't, don't know what to do. We love rats and black cats. We love snakes. Snakes and worms and bats with black arts. We have fun making others come undone. Using all our tools of fear and fright, we break the rules every night. We'll cook up our patience till night. <laughs> Excuse me, do you see the king anywhere? No, Your Majesty. Hello? Come guard! Oh, your majesty. I was hoping to see the king. Hmm, that makes two of us. Well, if he delayed seeing such a beautiful queen, I doubt he'd be interested in my company. I hear you put on quite a display at the nightclub. King Arthur insisted? After what I saw in the woods, I dare say you don't need much encouragement. If you were a man, I'd make you back your words with steel. If I were a man, I'd be able to. You want to learn to fight? Are you joking? Here, stop with this. <laughs> I won. But we haven't started. You just cut a sword by the blade. You can't fight now. Very funny. Like this. It uh, takes practice. Keep your blade between you and your opponent at all times. Uh, go on. Attack. <laughs> you can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. Remember that. You don't just have to parry an attack. You can also move to draw your opponent into the open. One, two, the rhythm of battle. Three, four. The clashing of steel. <laughs> Beg me for mercy. Hmm. Now I know why every time I see you, someone's got a knife at your throat. I can't believe I'm good at it. Women are natural warriors. Arthur doesn't think so. Uh, the king has never seen you like this. Uh, maybe he'd like it. Trust me, he wouldn't. Uh, what king would not want his queen to be able to defend herself? <laughs> I won! <laughs> I won! Don't be so sure. Egbert Orkney! Get down here right now! Mother, I was sleeping. Look, our dreams have come true. Show me Guinevere. Lancelot's teaching her how to fight. <laughs> We'd better attack soon before she becomes first knight. Not attack, son. Think. What better way to destroy Arthur than to make him doubt his lovely queen? And then? Oh, I'm, I'm sick of thinking, Mother. Look! All they need is a little push to fall in love, and then Arthur will be destroyed from within. 
Oh, we could send the lovers a little encouragement. Yes, invitations. If she's going to fight, the queen will need a very special weapon. And you've got these beautiful gloves, perfect for a knight. I'll anoint them both with a love potion so strong, Arthur will need a whole army of new knights to pull them apart. Oh, you're a wicked little witch, Mummy. <laughs> Ah, there you are. Arthur! I'm so sorry about yesterday. It's all right, Arthur. I don't have to parry your attack. Where did you learn that? Lancelot's teaching me to defend myself. With a sword? He risks your injury? With a stick. It's still not right. I forbid the lessons. You can't! I just did. Arthur, Gilly and I were discussing the decorations for tomorrow's grand event. Gilly, will you excuse us for a moment? Guinevere and I just had an argument. I feel awful. I wanted to be happy, especially with the round table ceremony tomorrow. Yes, of course, I know. And uh, why not surprise her? Do something special as an apology. Hmm. I'm going to be up all night working in preparation for the ceremony, so I'll think about it. Thank you, Merlin. Ah! <laughs> oh, Arthur, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! You played right into our trap and saved us a lot of trouble. Mordred kidding. This is Arthur's favorite perfume. I just know it. <sighs> now where is that love potion? <clears throat> Sneezing powder. I knew love sprinkles. Oh, I just love love. <sighs> I wish Arthur wouldn't get so angry. <laughs> You ain't seen nothing yet! Lancelot, I have a gift for you from the Queen. From the Queen? Yes, shh. It's a secret uh, for the ceremony tomorrow. Oh, yes, and I almost forgot a note here. Lady, there's something here for you. Strange. What a gift! Meet me in the forest early tomorrow morning. Who is this from? Oh, well, my lady, I really don't know. Perhaps the king? Yes! Oh, thank you, Gilly. Thank you very much. Now I shall sleep well tonight while he's at work. <laughs> <laughs> Nice blade. 
Who gave you that? Someone who loves me very much. Well, Anga. Well, seeing that you're here. Anga! <laughs> this reminds me of those days with Arthur. Before he betrayed me. Oh, that smells great! <laughs> so, what I put on the glove? Sneezing powder! Oh! Uh, Milady, uh, are uh, you a. Uh, uh, why don't we rest? Uh, 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 are you? Are you? Oh, and no! Oh! Come on, kiss. Oh. <laughs> It's the elevation of the knights. I cannot be late. Already? I thought Arthur was going to... Aren't you coming? No, I... Yeah. I'll catch up. I think I need a little fresh air. I suppose Arthur forgot he sent me the note to meet him here. Poor Guinevere, to be married to such a... Kidnap the queen and hold her for ransom. Arthur's life. Kill Arthur? No! Not Marty! <gasps> that stuff's strong! We welcome you, Sir Lancelot, holder of the uh, 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 sne 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 a siege perilous, first among brothers. In the nightclub. Where is Gwyn? I know she was upset, but I can't believe she'd missed the whole ceremony. Did you apologize? Well, I was working all last night, so I didn't see her, and then... I... I meant to. Arthur. Arthur. Oh, please, Merlin, I'm worried. See if you can find her. <sighs> I saw Her Majesty earlier today. Come, I will take you there. Here we are. This is a strange place for Guinevere to come alone. <laughs> well done. Meet me in the forest early tomorrow morning. And a map. I wonder who wrote this. Mm, how odd. It is exactly like the one Mordred gave me from the Queen. From the Queen? Mordred? Mm, could it be? No. But then again.
again. No, surely not yet. Now, Lance, uh, think, was there anything strange about your encounter with the Queen? No, uh, the Queen was showing me her new short sword. The Queen had a short sword? From who? Well, from the King, of course. Nonsense! The King would never give Guinevere a short sword. What kind of blade was it? It was covered in ancient symbols. It could only belong to someone royal. Or oh, someone who wishes they were royal. Let's go! This way! There's nothing that way but the mountain. There's more to that mountain than beats the eye. Something I should have taken care of years ago. We must move quickly. Uh, take this to the king. Bring him to Morgan's cave. Uh, oh, what are you wearing? We'll insist that Arthur come alone with the ransom, and then we'll kill them both. Are you sure uh, this is a cave? Oh, please, I can't make magic with all this grunting. <sighs> can't you just make it disappear? And then what do we do when we want to close it again? It's held by a spell. Hi. Set a guard and make a base camp down below. That was my next move. I love guard duty. Yeah, it's nice and comfortable. We will make you nice and comfortable. <laughs> well done. Thank you very much. I've got good news. The good news is, I got the queen. She's down there. You too. Go keep an eye on the prisoner. Shh. <laughs> the rope! We need something to make a bridge. Lie down across the abyss and I'll climb over you. <laughs> Even chivalry has its limits. <gasps> Wait a minute. Yes! <laughs> now, they have to hold us. I made a king out of a waif. We'll cross the gorge on bridges of faith. <laughs> Let go. No. Not my count. Bounce! One, two, three! No! No! Kidnapped her. I can't believe it. Oh, oh, oh. 
You, wait here. I'll check on the prisoner. Boom. <laughs> Pretty hot, don't you think? Mother, what has come over you? It's that love potion. I, ah, I can't shake it. Love potion? <laughs> you get out! Stop them! She's gone! Ah, they're trying to escape! Mother, she's over there. You get her, and I'll get them. Don't have to parry. Right. Knowledge of the terrain. Remember, you must always be prepared, Mordred, my friend. against the magic. Look. Un, deux, trois. Très bien! Merlin. 
stolen mine! Can't hurt me! I've got nothing to lose! What about Mordred? Mordred is a spell I formed in flesh! It can't be broken! One day he'll ruin Arthur, and then Camelot will be mine! Not if I can stop you! You can't! Sticky business. They're coming. I'll hold them off. You go. Please let me thank you, Sir Lancelot. No. I should thank you. I will honor you and the king for as long as I live. They're kissing. Whoa, whoa. Whoa? Grab her! Arrest him! What? Forget him! We've got to get back to Camelot! Why didn't I do that in the first place? Oh, no! Oh, no! Sword that glimmers round and round. Hold your mistress in the ground. Stony doorway. No one goes in, no one goes out. One, two, three. Never budge eternally. <laughs> it worked. Set the lookout! Get everyone inside city walls! Oh, thank goodness she's safe! What shall I do with the Queen, sire? Lock her in the tower. Where's Lancelot, then? He's not coming. You're king and all, but is there uh, any way that I can help? Let's see. I need to defeat a villain who's sure to kill me someday and turn back time to a day when my wife still loved me. Oh, this story's not over yet, sir. I don't know. 
Why not just step down and let someone else be king? But, sire... Well, oh, you started a round table, uh, and you've got to keep it going, because if you don't, I won't get to stay a night. And I like being a knight. And I'll tell you, sire, Lizzie, she loves me being a knight. So, sire, the longer you hang in there, well, the better. All right, I'll hang in there so you can stay a knight. But what about my love? Well, sire, I mean, the only thing I know is about knights and love, is it? Well, you're supposed to beg the lady's forgiveness and pledge your eternal protection. But she... Someone very brave and very smart once told me it works every time. Besides, haven't we all done something what needs to be forgiven? Guinevere. Arthur, why have you locked me in here? What did I do to upset you? The, the kiss. What kiss? You and Lancelot, my wife and my trusted knight. Why, Guinevere, why? How could you? I didn't kiss him. I saw you. You betrayed me. No! I am banishing you, Guinevere. You must leave Camelot. Take your last look, Guinevere, and then leave while you can, or I may do something I might regret. But I don't understand. Lancelot and I didn't kiss. He was swearing to protect us always. Oh, please, Arthur, don't make me leave you, or Camelot. Go, Guinevere. Go. Arthur. You can't send me out there into the forest alone. I'll die. Go now. Arthur, please believe me. I don't love Lancelot. I love you. You must believe me. I can't, Guinevere. You have broken my heart. Yes! All isn't lost. My plan's a winner after all. No! Not fair! I want to see them both fall from the tower and die. How do I know she is telling the truth? And how can she forgive me for treating her this way if she is telling the truth? <laughs> Guinevere, forgive me. I was so jealous. I, I thought for a moment you loved Lancelot and not me. And I didn't think I could keep living, but I... I believe you. I do. I love you. <laughs> and I love you. You and only you. Mordred is going to attack. Do you have a plan? Not really. I haven't been able to think about anything but you. Please, consider this again. Stop reacting. Draw him into the open. I, I know you don't want to listen, but... How? Use me as bait. Let Mordred believe his plan of making you jealous has worked, and we can draw him into the open. Hey, hey, hey. We shall now commence the trial of Queen Guinevere for treason. Queen Guinevere, you stand trial for the crime of betraying your king. How do you plead? Not guilty, my liege. Stop! Stop! The queen is mine! <laughs> Then she must die! Yes, and so must you! Arthur must die!
Light never gives offense, never takes, but what is granted? If a fight can be avoided, he will yield. But if ever force is needed, a true knight doesn't waver. When he strikes, he makes it count. <laughs> no matter who you are, no matter what this world is dealt you. Follow these few rules and you might become a perfect gentle knight. You rescue maids, go on quests, brave very dangers, do your best. Find true love, inspire trust, there's nothing knightly about lust. Use a lance, choose a sword, virtue is its own reward. Help your friends find their course. Always be kind to your horse! Your Majesties, if I have offended you, I beg your forgiveness. And, and we yours. yours. To the round table. To Camelot! It's easy to forget, we're all in this together. We all need all the help that we can get. Your honor should be clean. Your armor shining bright. There's nothing better than a Guinevere reigned together for many years to come, with Lancelot by their side as first knight. And so the legend of Camelot lives on in the hearts of all those true believers who want equality, justice, and opportunity for all people.